Good afternoon. I need your help to do a little bit of quick and dirty research. For your privacy, it's very important that you look straight at me. Now, looking at me, I want you to raise your eyebrows if you've ever had unprotected sex. <laughs> sex brings out the risk taker in many of us. Now I want you to imagine that you're in an HIV vaccine trial in Swaziland. You don't know if you've got the real vaccine or the placebo. You don't know if the vaccine is going to work to prevent HIV. The trial investigators have supplied you with condoms, but we know people don't use condoms consistently. They've also told you that there is a pill that you can take that will reduce your chances of HIV acquisition, but they're not going to supply that. Does that seem fair? In 2012, there are ways established that you can prevent HIV acquisition that don't rely solely on condoms. There's a pill that you can take that will reduce your chances of getting HIV by up to 75% as long as you remember to take it consistently. It's a strategy called PrEP. Or, if your regular sex partner has HIV, if he or she takes anti-HIV drugs to suppress the level of viral replication in his or her blood, that will reduce your chances of acquiring HIV by 96% or more. That's a strategy called treatment as prevention. Now, until these new prevention methods were established, there was an ethical consensus that every participant on an HIV prevention trial should be given access to condoms. And we know people won't always use condoms. So how should we conduct research now? My project investigates whether we can still run placebo-controlled trials or whether PrEP and treatment as prevention should be used as the comparator arm in any ongoing studies. I've conducted in-depth interviews and online surveys with both the principal investigators who run HIV prevention trials and the ethics committees that review the research. Some of the respondents believe that participants in the trials should be given access to state-of-the-art HIV prevention methods, while others believe that to give people access to these newly validated methods would make trials too expensive and infeasible. Ongoing research in HIV prevention is absolutely critical to controlling the epidemic. What we need is a way of conducting the trials that is fair, that is feasible and that is non-exploitative. My project articulates that framework.